Astronomy surprises humanity every year. Although it may seem unbelievable, we have discovered a lot about space in the last 30 years, and each discovery raises new hypotheses and possibilities. Scientists believe they can find the information we need to understand our own planet in the stars and galaxies. Where does life come from? How much time do we have left on Earth? Will it be possible to populate other planets? These are some of the questions that plague them, but each of them involves a myriad of complex and, unfortunately, highly uncertain theories and hypotheses. Recently, however, something promising has been discovered. It is a small planet that had never been captured from Earth before, but it has now captivated the attention of the major astronomy agencies and centers. Would you like to know what it is? Then join us and let's discover together the small planet that could predict the future of the Earth. Many people enjoy stargazing. Up there, the universe seems created for humans, as if it were a mural of shapes and lights that make us rethink our own existence. However, when astronomers look at space, they are not so poetic. Each of their investigations aims to find an answer to a very well-defined question, and the one that is asked in almost all astronomy agencies and laboratories is the one and only one. How can we understand our planet through the experience of others? By studying other galaxies, ecosystems, and the orbits of other planets, we can understand our reality more accurately. We may even be able to predict what could happen to the Earth thousands of years from now, and that is precisely what a group of astronomers deployed at various points on the planet has recently achieved. The team detected a Jupiter-sized planet orbiting a dead star. At first, none of the researchers could believe the finding. Generally, in astronomy, there is an immovable idea that all ecosystems similar to ours disappear when their central star dies. This process is called red giant expansion. And to understand it better, just look at the clouds. Imagine if the sun were to lose all its hydrogen fuel until it swells and expands uncontainably. What do you think would happen? Well, science has documented that this has happened in numerous galaxies, and the result is always the same, an explosion. As you can imagine, it's not just any explosion. In fact, it is such a powerful discharge of energy that the red giant ends up destroying all the planets around it. From that moment on, the star becomes a white dwarf, which is the moment that marks its death. How is it possible that a planet 6,500 light-years away from us survived this explosion? To understand this, the team had to do a deeper investigation, and the results were very clear. The surviving planet is 40% larger than Jupiter, but its extinct sun had 60% more mass than our sun. Therefore, its explosion was even more powerful. Another decisive finding was that between the white dwarf and the orbit of the planet, there was a distance of 2.8 astronomical units. This is something very curious, especially because between the Earth and the Sun, there is only one astronomical unit. What does all this mean? For the University of Tasmania astronomy postdoctoral researcher Joshua Blackman, this research could help us to understand that planets orbiting at large enough distances can survive the death of their star once they enter the red giant phase. This means that when our time comes and this space disaster takes place, our planet will not survive. Yes, it's a terrible and catastrophic result, but conclusive. The very close distance of the Earth to the Sun will make the survival of our planet totally impossible, which is the same fate that will befall Mercury and Venus. However, there is a possibility that more distant planets, such as Jupiter and Saturn, will still manage to survive the mega-explosion. 
David Bennett, a senior researcher at the University of Maryland and NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, has come to the same conclusion. Still, not everything is lost. There is some hope in his conclusions as he raises the possibility that we could move to one of the moons of Jupiter or Saturn in the future before the Sun destroys our planet. This would save humanity, albeit at a great price. After all, we will forever lose the warmth of the Sun when this happens. However, there is still a long way to go before this becomes a reality. It will happen in about 5,000 years, so we are safe for now. But danger stalks our reality from space. Many people still consider that traveling to space and going to other galaxies are events that can only be found in science fiction. But reality seems to indicate that our future lies in the stars. Will the day come when we will have to escape from Earth to find new opportunities in other solar systems? Will we be able to develop the necessary technology to successfully make these journeys? Will we be able to find other planets that are capable of guaranteeing life in a similar way to Earth? Answering these questions is very difficult right now, but humanity is moving towards this destiny. The day when men are capable of ruling space will come since it will be the only way to survive. An instinct will make us escape to other galaxies. But for the moment, we can only enjoy each new discovery and experience the advantage of technology. Now that you learned a little bit about this new research, you will surely be intrigued and fascinated by the millions of possibilities hidden outside our solar system. For this reason, if you want to learn more about other mysteries of space, join us in the following videos and get to know what is hidden above the clouds.